So hi guys, since I'm stuck at home today, um, we will be doing back some more, uh, bringing back some passive videos, um, Andrew reacts, film reviews, um, film rants, and today we'll be talking about this movie, uh, that DC put out that has been making cinema headlines in both ways. It is Birds of Prey. So if you don't know what that is, it is, um, a, a heroine, sort of heroine slash female villain, uh, comic movie, uh, by DC. And it obviously, um, talks about how Harley Quinn does after, um, he dies, um, after he, uh, she breaks up with Joker, uh, some uh evil crime boss that's after uh after this diamond and as well as um the birds of prey which uh feature some of um the female um bad guys and uh heroes in the dc universe such as helena bertinelli or huntress which was on arrow i think we have a uh, black neary um and we also have this police officer in which i forgot um his name her name but it basically follows um how they come to band together as women to um so it's basically like a repeat of charlie's angels another feminine movie aimed at feminine uh audiences as well as promoting the message that uh of feminism obviously so first of all i'm gonna break down the ratings of the movie and break down the plot and then i'm gonna list out some of the pros and cons of it so if i just go on imdb uh so by the way okay so harley quinn let's see how much it has gross uh grossed so far okay so here we have it. It's 6.6 .6 out of 10 on IMDb and 78% on Rotten Tomatoes and 60% Metacritic, so it means critic, which and it has in the box office uh well grossed um in the past two weeks um under 45.3 million US dollars out of the budget of uh, almost 97 million dollars. So um the movie itself was kind of successful it featured the likes of um ewan mcgregor as the crime boss uh chris messina uh rosie perez and so on so on so on and oh it actually hit 191 million so it's it so far hasn't uh got the grossing we wanted as seen from the marvel movies but it's pretty, I think it's a mediocre um, movie, but I'd I explain, uh, explain, well, the movie to you. So basically in, uh, Birds of Prey, so we have, sorry, this is not unscripted, so I'm just, um, I just literally 10 minutes ago finished watching it, so I'm still processing some of the details. Uh, what I liked about it was some of the effects, um, great effects, a lot of, um, different stunts, um, great acting from, uh, Harley Quinn's actor, huge acting, I guess, um, just so, so much training to do these stunts, a lot of action, especially using weapons and mainly weapons, so that was a con, and it also perfectly portrays how some women struggle and why they become who they are, um, and, uh, how people struggle on a daily basis. So, um, like some examples, uh, Helena Bertinelli's entire family was massacred at, um, yeah, so that's just one example, brutally killed. Or there was, um, one who was, um, basically someone's, like, um, owned by someone, like she had no freedom and was domestically abused. We have someone who was, uh, had a male, um, partner take, um, all the credit for work that she did and yeah so again yeah and then we have harley obviously um who is just frustrated and she is really the catalyst in the entire thing 
And I, I like how um, it doesn't center around Harley alone. I know you guys are like, oh, but I wanted to watch the Harley Quinn movie. It's just the emancipation of one Harley Quinn. However, um, I think the Harley Quinn bit was, I don't think it's a full-fledged on Harley Quinn movie. And I think that's a good bit about it because it's great that there's Harley Quinn, but it it's too shallow. The story's too shallow. And we have entire movie based on one villain who just literally blows up stuff. And it's great that they're sort of like anti-heroes. So it's great. It's on a villain movie. And um, in terms of origins, I think um, DC hit it again. So in Joker, as you can saw, we can we were conveyed the emotion. Um, we felt like Joker struggles on his rise to become evil. So here we have it again, except they're going to the good side, if you know what I mean based on uh, gender inequality, injustice, themes like that. So, um, pretty good. I think the themes in the movies and the morals in general. Uh, I think, in my opinion, I, I also love the voiceover, by the way. Um, Harley Quinn uh, voiced over a lot to narrate who, which was which character. And I think that was really effective in uh, telling people's backstories, kind of like in a book where you have multiple perspectives, like Bob, and then another chapter called Char Charles or something like that. So let's hit on to the negative movies, negative parts of the movie. I thought at, <coughs> I thought at times the fight scenes were a bit excessive, I think. It's a great they want to have fight scenes. Any villain movie needs a lot of fight scenes. And it was great, but some of them was just unnecessary. And, yeah. It was just a bit annoying to see literally everyone just kick butt every 20 minutes. There's, like, one, like, at least one scene. So, it's great. Um. Also, I didn't think their crime boss was f as formidable. And I think that's great that uh, we have real-life scenarios where this powerful, rich dude just has a love servant or soldiers working to um to finish the dirty work but the villain wasn't as powerful as like expected anyways and i think they could have um met a bit earlier so we can build some foundation about some of the relationships possibly open up for our second movie um so yep yeah, if but Nonetheless, they met in the last 20-30 minutes of the scene for one finale action scene. So that that is great. And yeah, so this is a short one, but I have a lot of movies that I'm going to watch in the next few days. Uh, comment down below which movie you want to see next or what you want to see next on this channel. And I'll come back with more. So thank you guys for watching. Make sure to subscribe and like and join this video. And yeah.